Okay, so one of the new features of the plugin is the ability to allow other users to log in and um, use your system. So I'm going to go into some detail here about um, using a, or creating a new user and then granting them access to um, to specific lists. This will probably be two videos. One is just a quick video creating a new user. Second one will be assigning users to lists. So um, here under WordPress, just under the standard users menu, you can uh, view your users or create uh, new. So let's go ahead and click on add new. And then uh, you would just create a username. I'm just going to this would typically be, uh, let me try to use a more realistic example. All right, so let's say you have a client in McCabe's restaurant. Um, you would enter their email address, and um, let's see if I can make something up under my account. Um, uh, and um, type in a name, this is optional, but uh, password and uh, I don't need to send it and here's the key you want them to be set up as an SMS user sorry I have a test role in here this is actually I think the role uh, I need to use you will use you only have one option you'll see the SMS user I should have cleaned this up a little bit before doing this video but um, so look for your, for your SMS user role and you can see the roles over here and you can see here's my SMS user ignore the three please um, here's McCabe's I just created so now I'm going to pause this I'm going to go log in as McCabe's on another browser okay so I'm over here on um, another browser I'm logging in I logged out I was logged in before this other user Let's see here's the account I just created <coughs> Can choose to remember me. Log in. And then uh, you can see when someone logs in, they typically, unless you're using another plugin to redirect them, which you could potentially do, uh, they're going to land on their profile page where they can update their password and things like that. Um, then you, they can go to SMS messages and uh, create a new a new message. Now, if I <coughs> excuse me, if I go in here. Um, I shouldn't see any lists available because I didn't assign any to this user. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here uh, just to keep it short, and I'll kind of re, re uh, come back around and show how to assign access. We have a user, but the user does not have access to anything, which is actually good because you you want to control that. So I'm going to stop it here, and we'll go into detail about how to set up lists for them.